Pastor Raymond Ko disappeared on the 13th of February 2017. In the past year, the police were not able to locate him. The hearing on whether his abduction was a case of enforced disappearance was also suspended on the 16th of January 2018. His family has missed him dearly every single day since he disappeared. I guess in general, he's really, really selfless. Uh, selfless and humble. He's very affectionate. He always says, I love you to me before I go to work. Sometimes he drives me to work and he cooks like breakfast oats for me. Also very reliable. Once someone's um, car broke yeah, down, so she broke. said she called my dad and he, he straight, he went, she dropped everything and went to help. But there was this one time where uh, he and he and this friend of his were walking down like Puduraya or somewhere and there was this homeless guy that is that was shirtless on the street and my dad just took off his shirt and gave it to that guy. Yeah, he was riding in the LRT and he saw a, a lady who was very sad looking. Her countenance was so sad and uh, she, he just asked uh, her, how, how are you? And, and, and then she told the story uh, of uh, her being a single mother, having five kids to, to raise, and it was tough going for her. And later we managed to help her with some uh, monthly groceries. Um, and I also uh, think of his uh, non-judgmental attitude. Uh, so he was in KL and then he spotted someone who, bor who had borrowed money from him oh. before but ha had not returned it. So when that person saw him, he ran away from my dad but my dad chased him <laughs> and then my dad hugged him and, and my dad said, never mind about the money but how are you? Yeah, someone he visited in the hospital uh, who had uh, tuberculosis and he didn't mind going to see him and he even bought this person his favourite food which was fried chicken. Oh. So this person uh, remembers very much. You don't know him and if you did know him, you wouldn't want to do that. You know, if you, if you talk to him for even five minutes, you would see that that you shouldn't have to abduct someone even in that way even even if you were paid to do it uh, mostly people call him pastor because of his pastoral love and care that he has shown to them uh, to those in harapan he is known as uncle raymond and everybody just go to taman sendosa and ask the kids do you all know uncle raymond they will all know him they just love it